guys, it's Erin with Time Saving Templates and today I'm gonna go over some common questions that we've been getting with the variable compensation bonus template, which I do have another video which I'll link to that goes over the basics of using this template if you want a more thorough example. But basically the green and white cells, you would copy and paste your employee information. The gray cells are formulas that will pull in from the other pages or calculate for you. So it's gonna calculate the bonus for you and also prorate if you wanna do that. How can you use this template if you are wanting to only calculate, have a set calculation for the bonus payout versus have the managers providing input or discretion as to having more flexibility with the bonus payout? So the short answer is you could do both, uh, but I'm gonna go in a sample of that. And then we're also gonna talk about how you can use this template if you have no salary bands right here. So if you don't have grades or salary bands, you'll see this is in the bonus key. So we're gonna go over what to do if you don't have that. If you don't have different bonus targets per band or you have no structure like that. And we're also, the third question we're gonna cover is what to do if you don't wanna include individual performance and you want just everyone to get the same based on the company financial or the corporate achievement or if you want everything based on um, the individual performance ratings only there's ways to do that too and then the yellow is where the manager would actually enter the percentage they want to give so we have it set up so that we can calculate the hr recommended based on performance rating some Companies just want to use just the calculation only with no manager discretion. You can, in that case, you would just come here and do equals whatever is entered here, and then it would go ahead and calculate because it's calculating based on this yellow, what is entered here. Or you can give, you know, you can change the percentages up and down in this yellow column to see how that affects the final bonus payout. So for everything to link and work in this file, you need to, the information in the green columns has to be entered. It's based on the a salary band, the current annual salary, and then you will also need to fill out this bonus key. Um, this is where you set several factors that are used to calculate the bonuses. And one question that we get a lot is what if we don't have a salary band or a salary grade at the company, which could happen with, you know, small business that doesn't have all these different levels. This is just an example. You would, the template would come blank and you would fill this out. So if you don't have these different levels, basically this is saying that, you know, certain positions are getting a 5% bonus while others are eligible for up to 20 and 35%. And the bonus target is a per, their target based on the bonus target is the percentage of their annual salary, so 5% of their annual earnings or 15%, 20% of their annual earnings. And if they are eligible for overtime, then that would be included in their, in their earnings that you would multiply in the bonus details page. So if you have a situation where everybody is eligible for the same bonus target, you would just put everybody at one grade and put them, just put everybody to an A and then that's gonna pull in 15% for everybody. Of course, you'd have to assign an A in the salary grade column for that to work. And then the other part with the salary ban is you can weight this based on corporate or individual. So with the corporate results, the template set up, so you put like one percentage for your corporate achievement. So the corporate piece is gonna be based on one percentage, which is the company financials, um, and how you get to that could vary. But if all targets were met and you wanted to pay everything out um, on target, it would be, you know, 100%. If it was below target, 70, 80%, or above target, you could enter something like 
20 or 110%. It's gonna help bump up the calculations and what gets paid out. But at 100%, that will pay out everyone at their bonus target based on how much you have that corporate weight. There's also individual weight, which is based on the performance rating. So this template doesn't go into how to do the performance ratings, but it's assuming that you already have some sort of rating structure. So it could be numbers, it could be letters. For this example, we have one through 10. So a one and a two, we're recommending 0%. And then as they go up in the ratings, they could get up to 150%. So this is again multiplied by how much you're weighting that individual performance. So the question that comes up sometimes is what if we don't have performance ratings? You can weight the corporate percentage at 100% and leave individual at 0% for everybody if that's how you want. Um, if you want no, no individual factor, then it's gonna pay everybody out 100% what number you have, what percentage you have here. Alternatively, if you don't want the corporate, if you want it all weighted based on individual performance and you don't want that overall rating that everybody gets a part of the, the corporate percentage, you could then do 0% and 100% individual rating. With that, you could do it that way as well. Most of the time, there's a mixture, right? Some positions can be weighted more towards the corporate financial results if they, you know, have a influence over the financial results. So, or if someone does not have much influence at all over, over the financial results and you want to really incentivize their individual goals, then you would weight their individual targets 100%. But usually there's some sort of mixture between the two. And this shows that the higher level position is usually having more weight towards the financial results. After you fill this information out, well, particularly filling out the corporate achievement is going to now populate the corporate results. And we also have the individual results of pulling in a recommended percentage based on the performance rating. So the performance rating is meant so that you can copy and paste your performance ratings for everybody, the employee ID, and the performance rating. That's how everything is linked together with the employee number. So I hope that helps answer some of the questions that seem to be coming up when using this bonus template. And as always, you can find this template by going to timesavingtemplates.com and just go head to the human resource spreadsheet section and you'll find it in there. And if you are interested in the free resources at Time Saving Templates, head on over to timesavingtemplates.com slash free resources. And under the HR comp freebies, you'll find the compensation metrics cheat sheet. So you can go ahead and download that if you are interested in having a little cheat sheet that goes over um, some of the metrics that are covered in the different compensation templates. So until next time, don't forget that I'm here to help you streamline and save time when it comes to using Excel spreadsheets in your business, in your profession, in HR, and as well as rental property management.